Hi, today I want to show you my GPD Win4 using the software Keysticks. I've got an older video showing this device. I love it really much. There's a hidden keyboard here and there's a trackpad for the mouse pointer. I can control the mouse pointer with the single finger and I can click on it and press hold it and there's a right mouse click. The only problem is I can't drag and drop but at the moment I am on the gamepad mode I can switch it to mouse mode then I can use the shoulder button here to click on this item and drag and drop for example or use this joystick I can control it And this is very nice. I can also define my own key here. Use the win control. Then here, that's uh, define the buttons. There's only one problem. As soon as I'm in mouse mode, the gamepad is dedicated for mouse control or key shortcuts. As soon as I want to play games, I have to switch it back to gamepad mode and this button is not very easy to switch so then I raise a question whether there is any better solution in Reddit someone has suggested uh, using the key sticks that's the software here now let me start this one so you can see there's a gamepad here and let me minimize it now let me start the launch box. So at the moment the key sticks is running in the background. Uh, I've got some keys defined here. These are the tap key. You can see the focus is changing. Now I can go to here and I got here a home and end. Let me go to somewhere more program here so I can go up up here go to game that's Commodore 64 and if I go to here left is home right is the end so I can go up and page up so that's what I've defined page down and I can use the cursor button here the difference between key sticks and the original win control, let's say I go to here and launch the game. Okay, now the game is running and the control is, has changed to the emulator. Now I can press this one so you can see there's a virtual keyboard which is from the emulator and let me go to here I want to go out that's a combo now I can, I'm back in the cursor control so let me go to other game so let me go use the, that one instead of mouse pointer so go to Nintendo switch it here now just go to here and sometimes it's not getting focused as soon as it's on focus then I can use a d-pad here and let's say if I start the game here now you can see I can control the game here so let me kick it So I can control the game. The good thing of the key stick is, is uh, I can make it switch to the emulator automatically. Now I want to go to another emulator. Let me, let's say go to Sony PlayStation 2 and use a tap key 
go to this here, run it. So you can see I can control. See, now I, I'm automatically in the gamepad mode. So now let me show you my profile in Keysticks. Uh, I've already installed the software. I will put a download link in the description. So when you've started. You will see a gamepad here by default. This is not my profile, so I can either create a new one, go to create profile, then here there's a controller which can be added from here, add a new control set. So in my case, I added pages here, add a new page. Then I get a new page here, but I have already created. Now I'm going to show you my profile. So I just need to double click on this file. Then it will load here. You can see loaded. Then when I open the profile here, you can see here there's Winfall and I created the page desktop. So if I click on desktop, you can see I have defined the left mouse click, the right mouse click, and here there's a mouse pointer control, page up, page down, home, and and start menu, tap, and this is a uh, control P. For some reason, when I use the enter key to launch a game in launch box, I got the enter key twice. It will try to launch the emulator twice, then it will fail. So then I use the control P instead. This is the game page. In game page, I leave all the gamepad control keys undefined. Now we got two pages defined. One is desktop and the other one for gaming. This is the important part, how to activate the desktop. So by, by default, desktop control will be running. And to switch it to gaming, I define in specific windows. You can see th there's a list here. When running Dolphin, then it will run that and Project 64 and PCSX2. So how are these defined? Uh, if I go to here, let's say I start some emulators here. And then this is the PS2 and Dolphin. Okay, now I've got all those emulators started. Then I go back to the key sticks again. So choose here. And here there's a program field here. Now I can select, let's say I select Dolphin and add that. Then you can see Dolphin. I already added one here. so. So it will be activated any window title. So I can use the window title as well, like if I put Dolphin here. And I can use uh, start. It's a prefix in the window title or it's the suffix. But at the moment, I always use empty. The reason is this is more reliable. I noticed the PSSX2 only show the game title in the window title. It will change for each game. So let me do the demonstration here. If I click on the desktop, then you can see the desktop control is activated. Now I go to Dolphin. Now here is showing gaming. Let me close Dolphin. Here is desktop. As soon as I open this one, then it's a PS2 is gaming. None of the key are defined. Close it again. So basically, when I go to any of the software beside those emulators, then this will be active. The most important thing is the left mouse click 
I can use the shoulder button now and leave the device on gamepad mode then I can drag and drop with the shoulder button. The keystick software allows you to switch between gamepad and mouse mode automatically instead of using this switch. So basically I'm doing the same thing but automatically and you have to make sure if you use the Windows title to identify which program is active, you have to make sure the title has a fixed text in the prefix or in the suffix. I wish the device has come with similar software. I hope you find this video useful. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.